So you've tried beetroot juice, tart cherry juice, caffeine, electrolytes mid-workout. You've even watched my video. So you've tried baking soda to help boost your performance. But what if I told you there's one more supplement that you could use to boost your performance that's evidence-based and it could even be used in a use case like Ramadan where you can't consume the product technically. Well, what if I told you that in this case you don't have to consume the product technically and it'll still help you boost your performance. Now this supplement supplement occurs naturally and is particularly useful in sports that get very warm, especially in outdoor sports like tennis, soccer, football. All right, I get it. Soccer is football, all right, whatever. Moving on, but it's also useful in endurance events like triathlon, marathon, half marathon, ultra marathon, and these types of events. If you've stayed through this super long intro, let's get into what this supplement is, how to use it, and how it might benefit us. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, hit like, comment down below what you wanna see next, and don't forget to comment down below any feedback that you have, because again, I'm new to the whole YouTube game and I appreciate any feedback that I can get. It's this right here. Well, not mouthwash specifically, but mint. Anti-suffocation bed sheets, fucking mint. Windows that physically cannot open, fucking mint. This is just a disclaimer. Most of these studies have been conducted in treadmill type settings. So when we extrapolate the findings from the literature such as this, we need to account for a few logistical or application based barriers. For example, if I were to be using the Listerine as I did in the opening clip, that might be significantly easier in a lab setting than outdoor while running an ultra marathon, for example, especially if you have a laboratory assistant pre pouring you the mouthwash while you are running on the treadmill. The other thing is these studies are all done on menthol. And while we can use mint leaves, we also need to acknowledge that we don't have to use mint leaves and chew on them. We can do things like chewing gum, chewing mint leaves, using mouth rinses. In this first 2013 paper, they had 12 healthy students consuming one bottle of water that had peppermint oil extract in it. In order to test for possible improvements in cardiorespiratory rates, this study conducted what's called a Bruce Protocol. The Bruce Protocol treadmill test was designed by a cardiologist named Robert A. Bruce back in 1963, but it's now more commonly just known as a stress test. They conduct the stress test in seven different stages. In each stage, you'll go through a 10% grade, 12% grade, 14% grade, 16% grade, 18% grade, 20% grade, and a 22% grade respectively through the seven stages. You will also be increasing your speed throughout. 1.7 mile per hour, 2.5 mile per hour, 3.4 mile per hour, 4.2 mile per hour, 5.0 mile per hour, 5.5 mile per hour, and ending it off with a 6.0 mile per hour. All of this to get an estimate of the patient or athlete's VO2 max potential. Thus, being able to get a good estimate of how good the cardio performance is. And in the case of this study, despite the small sample size, they found improvements in time to exhaustion, work and power, and they found significant differences in VO2 max potential. After just 10 days of supplementing. Now there's still plenty of research that could be done to verify why it is exactly mechanistically that this helps, but we do know one mechanism in which menthol works extremely well to aid sport performance, and that is thermal regulation. In this 2020 meta-analysis of randomized control trials, menthol, or mint, caused cooler thermal sensations, and while that didn't really have much of an impact on the sweat production, it showed improvements across the board in thermal comfort, and improved performance times in warmer temperatures, reduced the rate of perceived exertion, and in the case of athletes with a higher BMI, also helped when externally applying the menthol on the skin to effectively improve endurance performance. And best of all, we know that it can be safely applied by athletes to aid in thermal regulation. And if we can reduce our rate of perceived exertion and increase our endurance time, that right there is a massive benefit for something that costs like $2 at the store. Just something for you to think about. I'm curious to see if you guys would try this out. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe down below if you are new, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace. By the way, last month we launched my brand new high protein cookbook. Anyone that puts an order in for one will get a big, huge smoochy kiss from me. So make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at Evidence Nutrition so that I can give you a big fat wet one when you do. See you later. Oh, and by the way, YouTube thinks you'll like this video. So give it a shot and don't forget to hit